up YouTube? Today's a big day. We're going to move the containers on over to the uh, pad that we've been setting up. You've seen in the last few videos. Probably the most intense thing that I've had to do the last couple days in getting ready is um, moving my toolbox. So that's the top box. As most of you know that know me, I was an auto mechanic most of my life. Um, that's the bottom box it sets on top of here, but it's covered. When I tell you, moving that uh, bottom box was intense because, yeah, I do have forks on the uh, tractor, but I have no ballast back here. I have no liquid in the wheels. So, you know, that back end's wanting to come off the ground. <laughs> yeah, some pretty hairy moments there getting that big part of the box up there. Anyway... We're gonna get right on it, so um, yeah, let's see the video. There we go. We're gonna get right on it, so uh, Memo, my excavator, my septic guy, he should be here shortly. And um, we're gonna start dragging them containers over on the pads. There we go, first container being moved on over to the piers. You can see him on the John Deere. Got Memo over here. Silva excavation. All right, I'll be right back with you. See how it goes. So the idea in principle is we're gonna, once Memo gets this thing's kind of slid into position, and we're gonna, once he gets his tractor back up here, then we're gonna go ahead and uh, put these uh, these uh, wooden posts underneath it to roll it along and. Get it. Get it where we want it. All right, guys.
to get the containers up now, and uh, I'm heading over there with some welding equipment. And uh, you can see right here, got it on the uh, trusty John Deere. Oh, there's Jill. Jill's over there. She's doing a canning uh, video. She's making some uh, chicken stock. But uh, say hi, Jill. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to make our way over to the containers, and hopefully we don't uh, drop anything on the way. Trying to get some of this wood out of the way in front of the construction. Let's talk a little bit about what we got going on here. So I'm going to weld these uh, corners to the to the steel plate. Initially, I thought I was going to have to do multiple passes, but we don't have that big of a fillet here to fill, and I can get it done in one pass. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the surface right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, weld it. So let's get started on that. Now this is what they might call a little bit of a dirty weld because we got some uh, paint, some dirt, some other things in here. And uh, all you can do is your best try and keep it out of there. I'd say that looks like a pretty good bead for a first bead. All right, we're gonna do the other side in the corner here, and then we got seven more to do. It smells good out here. What the hell you got going on? It's a surprise. It's a what? It's a surprise. Uh, looks like you got some chicken boiling in there or something. It's half chicken, half turkey. Uh, so we got... Carcasses. We got... Uh, tur tur chicken... Tur chicken? No. Chicky or something <laughs> stock. I don't know what in the hell we got going there, but... Wow. All right. So that's the other stuff that's going on in the homestead. In the meantime, while we're still trying to do the other stuff that we're doing. <laughs> Jill's excited about the stock. She's excited about the containers. Anyway, you know, there's more to life than just building. We got a lot of other stuff going on as well. And then uh, pretty soon I get to hit the road and the Great White Hope there so we can continue this project. So the reason why you want to clean all this paint off here is because you're using a MIG welder. But what that stands for is uh, metal inert gas. So you're, you're using shielding gas to keep the oxygen and stuff out. To, uh, that's a whole science, you'll have to look it up, but to keep the uh, weld nice and clean. And uh, so you got paint and stuff and it off gases that kind of blows your shielding gas away. They get a really porous well. So it's really important to get the uh, paints and oils and anything that might be on there stripped off. Sometimes you just have to get comfortable in awkward positions to make the weld proper.
Well, that's going to do it for this episode, YouTube. We got all the containers welded in place. I want to show you more on the welder, but uh, I think we're just plumb out of time. So we'll catch you on the next round. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all soon. Dos, tres. Walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> he is happy the job Walk is like done. Walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> That's my man. It's so definitely my I'm man. I'm your man. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm the king of the, well, at least this property. There we go. Diesel, stop eating that. <laughs> like he would. I want to sit down for a minute. Okay. I'm tired. Oh, I bet you're tired. Been a long day. You welded eight spots. I did that more than that. More than that? Well, I did just, we're good. <laughs> good.